Peter 3RV on the left and Anthony on the right. Yeah. This uh, monstrosity here cost copious amounts of money. Oh, that's the um, that's the garage that was waiting to go in yes, for a long time. Yes, that was the one. And the council told me I could have any colour so long as it was green. Really? Yes. Dandenong Rangers Council? That's the one. The one that the egg's having the run in with? That's the one. And um, the tower or the mast was free. Yeah. Everything was free. But the base pile cost me $1,600 oh. to have it re sleeved. Yeah. And then another seven hundred dollars to have the whole yeah, yeah, <laughs> So the mast and all that was nothing, but it cost me more money to have the thing done. Right. And uh, it was uh, it goes down about ten feet yeah, or something. Yeah. I can't remember. Yeah. Um, it was all done at the same time as the. Uh, so it goes down ten feet. Yes. Yeah. How high is that triangular latticework thing? Um, officially or unofficially? Unofficially. Unofficially, fourteen meters. All right. A bit. Okay. So, uh, so the white one on the left at the top of that tower is what two meters? That's what I was talking to you on. And the right one's UHFCB. Yes. There's one over here. There's a it's a ground plane. What's the ground plane on the left here? What's that? Oh, that's 27 megs. 27 megs, and there's something behind it. That's uh, 160 meters. That's oh, okay. Oh, that's a that's Drew Diamond style. Really? Okay. Uh, it's exactly the same as an AR-88, except it has pommy tubes in it. Oh, mm -hmm. am I getting live to air, am I? This well, somewhere along sad. the line. Alright. <laughs> um, but the receiver we're running at the moment is a ex-Navy receiver, or aircraft receiver, out of an air uh, aircraft carrier, I think. Okay. And that's 160 metres live. And hopefully when I find the mic button. It's got a reasonable bandwidth for audio, does it? That's got about 16 kc on AM oh, nice. at the moment, but if I do this, oh, hang on, that'll narrow it down a bit. Alright, that sounds like about five. Yes. But it's quite fine. Now if you bring a camera around there. Yes. Now, Here's the big 160 meter yeah, missus. Zoom in on the plate current meter, which is here. Right. Um, you'll see that Oh. 140 milliamps, I'm getting just over 100 watts. Hang on, I'll just, I'll go in for the close-up lens. Right, so here. there's 140 milliamps, or thereabouts. Yeah. And if you go How up, much HT is coming down that white cable? Uh, the one you're resting on, yeah. oh, about 160 volts. Oh, that's not bad. But it's only milliamps. But yeah. if you zero in onto this uh, meter up here, you'll see it's around about 100 and, I can't see, 130, 140 watts. Oh, that's good. And you'll see on the thermocouple amp meter up there that it's um, about three and a half or three amps aerial current. Okay. And in here we've got the 300. Oops, it is. I'll just fall over the. And there, there's the missions going. And we say VK3 JIA testing 160 meters. And if you come over here, Chris, you'll see the. Uh, Don't know whether I do. 809 <laughs> modulator uh, meter. Hang on. Down. What's here. going through that? My microphone audio. Oh, right, good. Eh? Um, <laughs> just stand here and face the transmitter in the middle meter there. VK3 JIA, you see the one dancing around, mm. is uh, modulator current, which should be about 150 mils. Okay. So there's the whole transmitter in action. VK3 JIA concluding transmission, test complete. Uh, sounds pretty good here. Oh, there's, um, there's uh, Mr. Uh, uh, Mr. ASE. We have uh, Chris VK3 AML in the shack, and uh, Peter VK3 Mike Victor, who's right um, a Mike... R RV. Oh, uh, RV, I do beg your pardon. Uh, anyway, I've got a couple of uh, visitors in the shack and uh, they've just turned up to have a look at the transmitter and uh, all that sort of thing. And so, Anthony uh, and yourself are being filmed on a ZI-8. Oh, and they're being filmed, we're all being filmed on a ZI-8, uh, Dave, so uh, no doubt it all, uh, it'll probably make itself onto the internet, I guess. Anyway, <laughs> VK3 uh, ASE, VK3 uh, JIA with, uh, with all the visitors listening. Tree at the back. Which you have to lock up a little uh, external swirls thing on it, but uh, we'll oh, cope right. for that sort of money, you're not going to right. touch a risk. But the more interesting thing that I received, which I didn't bid for on eBay, I mean, there's the final with the three 300 things for me, uh, was the DVD of Radio and Hobbies. Oh, I love one of those, yeah, I must get one of those. Well, I'll have to do.
There's where the 160 metres is coming from, for all of that high section filter up there. Whoop. And there's the 160 metre transmitter. And that's your 80 metre transmitter you're adjusting there, isn't it? Uh, no, that's just a monitor. Oh dear, okay. There's the modulator <laughs> with two uh, three three hundreds, one partly obscured, blowing away. The old Ripley non-directional beacon was on 400 kilohertz. Okay, this is the control desk at VK3ASE. Not terribly good lighting, unfortunately. There's the uh, computer screens on the right, and we're looking at keyboard, mic mixer one with the controls, mic mixer two, which is currently on 160 and 80 metres. Up there, there are receivers up on the shelf. And at the moment, Dave is setting up a uh, projector. So there's Stephen around the corner. having a little spasm of the uh, transmitter demonstration and the Behringer B1 mic so uh, everything appears to be running correctly. No, they just came over to get a couple of uh, items from the estate that were uh, brought back here accidentally, some camera lenses or something so they've all been collected and uh, everything's all good again so uh, we might say uh, afternoon and all that and uh, catch you again another time VK3 ASE VK3 uh, JIA evening an evening from uh, Chris and everybody and uh, we'll uh, catch you another time okay yes that's good to hear you um, in high five in there uh, and the others okay we'll let you get on with the uh, the business and uh, VK3 ASE just uh, 